Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just want to go through the user data string shader. So the user data string shader is able to connect multiple textures to different objects using a single standard surface shader. So here we have 33 different texture maps, different faces, and we want to assign them to 33 different objects in Cinema 4D. So we can do that using just one standard surface shader and one user data string shader. So we're going to create a new node material, but if we, before we do that, we just want to make sure the render node space is set to Arnold. So under render node spaces, let's make sure that's set to Arnold. If we create a new material, new node material, just double click on that. We've got Arnold material here. So start off by creating a standard surface shader and connect the output to the shader, the Arnold material. And then we're going to use a layer RGB shader to layer the user data string shader and the utility shader. Connect the output of the layer RGBA to the base color, the standard surface. And then we need to create the image shader, the Arnold image shader for the textures. Connect the output to Layer eight input and the use data string shader. And connect the output of that to the uh, image name of the image shader. Okay, and then for the user data string shader under the attribute, I'm going to give it a name, so something like texture. Okay, so now we just need to add some user data to our spheres. So for sphere one, under user data add user data and under name use the same name we used for the use data string shader so texture and then we need to change the data type to string so okay so now we have a new texture user data string for our sphere so we need to add the texture path before the face texture will render let's just copy and paste the texture for the sphere so for sphere one, we have face 01.jpg, and I've added user data for the all the all the other spheres here. You see, face four onto sphere four, and so on. So now we just need to assign the node material to the spheres, and start off an Arnold IPR render. And if we select the layer RGBA, just make sure the the layer is enabled. Now we can see our different textures on the different spheres. And then lastly, let's just add a bit of color to the spheres. So let's, we can use an, an Arnold utility shader to do that. Just connect that to layer seven input. Change the mode to flat and the color mode to object ID. And then just enable layer seven and just play around with different uh, operations of the layer RGB to get some different colored effects. That's it. Thanks for watching.